A shareholder named Rob writes in, he says, how do you value Mr. Gensler and the SEC's role in protecting the integrity of the American financial system? Well, it's hard to fix. What happens, of course, is that people rationalize their own way of making a living. There's some moral compromise in most activity that people are in where they make a living, and particularly so in things like finance and wealth management and so forth. And of course, the people making the decisions care more about their own families than they care about the people whose money they're managing, because that's just the way human beings are constructed. And and that means that when you hire somebody else to manage your money to take care of your old age, it's very hard to get the job done right. It's very difficult. And nowadays, every director in a big company gets $300,000 a year. And everybody thinks we've arranged all this wonderful independence. A man who needs $300,000 extra a year as a director is not an independent. The one thing you can guarantee is he'll try and stay a director. I don't think that's an ideal system. And, and yet I don't, I don't think there's anything easy to do about it. I just think it's hard to get things managed as well as they should be. I was in the early days of my life, I was, I worked a little bit on the fringes of the motion picture industry. And I would say practically everyone sort of took advantage of the shareholders. And that was just the culture. And that is just deeply into human nature that people are going to behave that way. And of course it makes it, it makes it hard to run a proper civilization. And if you look at Berkshire and the Daily Journal, look at the Daily Journal Corporation. Charlie Munger, age 98. Jerry Salzman, age 83. Enormous delegations of powers to Jerry Salzman. As I say, the Berkshire Hathaway system of managing a subsidiary is just short of abdication. And look at how well it's worked. Of all the newspapers in the United States, most of them are going out of business. The Wall Street Journal will survive. The New York Times will survive. The digital newspaper of Thomson Reuters will survive. But most of the other newspapers are going to go out of business. And, and yet, in that climate, this little Daily Journal Corporation is one business is dying, and we have all this liquid wealth and marketable securities, and we got another business that we're trying to make into a respectable big business. It's quite an achievement. If there were 500 newspaper companies, there may be two or three that have had a result like that. And, and look at how old the people are that have done it. And neither Gary nor I ever took one penny out of the Daily Journal all the years we worked here. No director's fees, no president's fees, no expenses, no nothing. And Jerry's been a miracle, wearing five, six different hats at once and so forth, doing everything. And very little cost. And, and Berkshire has like 30 people in headquarters who aren't internal auditors. And look at how well Berkshire's done. Uh, it's hard to run a bureaucracy that doesn't get terrible slowness and terrible waste and terrible pond and 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 I I I don't know how to. It's a very serious problem. Just imagine. Think of the big bureaucracies that have died: U.S. Steel, Eastman Kodak. Federated Department Stores, Sears Roebuck, and yet some things have come through and survived. And in some cases, the whole business had to die, and they had to take the capital out, and we owned a new business just to survive. 
That's what Berkshire did. Look at the three companies that Berkshire had. They all, they all went out of business. And yet we wrung enough money out of them before they died. Berkshire now has more audited net worth on its balance sheet than any other corporation in the United States. Now that's weird. <laughs> and we don't have this bureaucracy that other places have. There isn't anybody at headquarters to be bureaucratic. Just a little handful of people are running an empire. And I don't think there's any chance that the rest of the world is going to be like Berkshire. I think we were kind of a fluke that lasted for a while. And the Daily Journal is a mini Berkshire. What are the chances a little flea bit newspaper in Los Angeles would be as prosperous as it is after all this trouble, which is making all the other newspapers go broke? <laughs>